Hey guys, Ryan123 here today with the fourth Tycoon tutorial I believe we're at now. And today, if you can already tell, we are going to do a Tycoon button. And today we will be using it to buy this here pile of bricks. <laughs> Which doesn't actually do anything, we just needed something to buy. So, to go ahead and get started, you are going to need a button. So just chuck down a random button shaped thing and something to buy which I just made a pile of bricks but it can be anything grouped in a model um, now let's go ahead and come and look over at it over here in the Explorer so here's our model that we're going to buy inside of our tycoon the second tycoon model if you don't know how to set this up go back and watch the other tycoon tutorial on the own on the door and the this person I don't even know I'm making this video right after I made the other one I don't even know what I'm gonna call the other one <laughs> anyways let's go ahead and look at the button so it, the button is here which you made so you're gonna want to group it with a humanoid and rename it head so that way you can rename the model and have the words appear above it and I usually do something like this for how much it costs. I don't know. You can find your own method of saying what they're buying and how much it costs. But um, let's go. And then you're going to put a script inside the head. And that's what we're going to be looking at. It's fairly simple, but not. it's fairly lengthy. So bear with me and we'll get through this. And you guys will have your very own tycoon buttons. So... Up at the top here, we're just going to put some, like, really general variables. So as you copy and paste this button or script, really these two things will be the only thing you have to change, is you'll just have to change the name of the model you want to buy. And since we will be buying bricks, which is this one, they can't have any spaces, and the cost. So these two are the only ones you'll actually have to change as you copy and paste the button throughout your tycoon. Um, and then, so yeah, so we wanted it to cost a hundred money. I don't remember what we called it. <laughs> and then we wanted it to buy the bricks model. So that's this. And make sure it's just in the tycoon. If you want to get more complicated, I guess you could have like a sub model and put all your up th your upgrades in there or whatever, but I'll let you guys figure that out. <laughs> it's not that hard. I just don't want to I just want to keep these videos short. Okay. And then the next thing it's going to do is it's going to create a clone of the model which is our pile of bricks and then after one second it will remove the pile of bricks because you know how when a, t when a tycoon starts there's nothing just the buttons so it removes the pile of bricks it gets the owner value and then it works with this debounce thing just so that only one person can mess with the button at the same time then we're going to go ahead and set up our on touch function which is set up down here with the usual this thing and this is the function for it and if the debounce is false then we're going to set it to true and if the player it's a if the thing that touched it is a player so we're going to do a humanoid check right here um, if the owner value is the same so this is just making sure that the owner is or the person that touched it is the owner so what this is doing is it gets the owner value which is the string value right here and it compares it to the the model name of whatever touched it and if they're the same then it will go into this um, it gets the player from the player's service by using the model name of whatever touched it and then it will get the stats from the player, the leader stats, and it said this is just a stats check, kind of a double check to make sure your script doesn't break. <laughs> and so if there are leader stats, then it will say, then we'll get the money value, 
and just a triple check just because we really don't want this script to break <laughs> if they oh wait this isn't the trip never mind I'm stupid okay <laughs> but if the so it gets the cash money you will have to change this if you named your money something different in the beginning when we set up our tycoon leaderboard so that's up here so if you named your money like cash or coins or credits I don't know then you will have to change that in here to whatever you named it in there but other than that it sh this is all universal um and so yeah it's gonna check to see if the cash value so the money that the player has is greater or equal to the cost which we set up here and if it's so then it will um, do some math and subtract the the cost from the cash value that the player has you know and then it will get the clone that we made and put it into workspace basically is what this is doing um, and then script dot parent dot parent dot semicolon remove so this just removes the button um, because you know after you buy something the button goes away then a ton of ends then the debounce equals false so I'll go ahead and I'll put this in full screen so you guys can pause and copy this down before we test it and then we will go ahead and test this and I am actually going to make two just to show you that you cannot buy stuff on an unowned tycoon so let's go ahead and jump into that test all right so here we are we're going to go ahead and own this tycoon and we will do we have enough money we do we will own this or buy this pile of bricks here's our pile of bricks and from the last one we cannot own this one so therefore we cannot buy this one I don't have it set up to do anything if we can't buy it but you actually can I'll just show you how to do that real quick if you do want it to say something or whatever you would put a actually <laughs> there's probably a lot of things you want to do so if you wanted it to say something if they don't own this tycoon you would come here to this if and I believe it would be this end so you would say else and you would say like print not owner or something like that and then if you for this one this one would be where you would put like if they don't have enough money so like else print not enough money something like that oops my mouse spazzed out sorry if I just gave you whiplash but so yeah that's how you would set those up you can do it with GUIs or whatever you want but I'm pretty sure that's where you would put the else's in that case <laughs> anyways guys thanks for watching this video I hope you enjoyed it um, please be sure to subscribe for future content please be sure to leave a like if you enjoyed this content post a comment down below with any suggestions that you might have and I will see you guys in the next tycoon tutorial and yep that's all see you later